five minutes. I thank my friend from Georgia and the ranking member. Madam Speaker, this bill we are debating today is fatally flawed. Republicans are for a compassionate solution to help DACA recipients, but that solution must be paired with common sense border security, interior enforcement, and changes in policy to stem the tide of illegal border crossings, human smuggling, and frivolous claims of asylum. Tragically, this bill does nothing to address the crisis at our southern border. 99 days ago, Chief of the Border Patrol Carla Provost testified before the Judiciary Committee that a humanitarian and immigration crisis was occurring at the border. By any measure, Chief Provost is correct. Border Patrol stats show that total apprehensions in the first seven months of the current fiscal year have already exceeded the total apprehensions from last fiscal year. What does this bill do to address that reality and stem the tide of illegal boarding crossings? Nothing. This year, the Border Patrol has also seen a 266 percent increase in apprehensions of aliens wanted by law enforcement. What does this bill do to address that? Nothing. In fact, this bill contains weak screening requirements that will almost certainly put criminals on a path to citizenship. Republicans tried to fix this at committee, but our efforts were rejected by the majority. The Border Patrol also reports a sharp increase in the apprehension of gang members. What does this bill do to address that? Nothing. The bill contains no additional enforcement resources, not even to apprehend and remove known gang members. This bill will certainly give green cards to gang members. Republicans tried to fix this in committee. Democrats rejected this amendment, impugning the integrity of police departments across America in the process by suggesting that America's cops indiscriminately add people to gang databases. Chief Provost also noted in her February testimony that the nature of legal boarding crossings has changed significantly. A decade ago, the Border Patrol used to apprehend primarily single adult males. Today, there is an unprecedented influx of family units and unaccompanied minors. Over the past five years, family unit apprehensions are up 621 percent. Unaccompanied minor apprehensions are up 105 percent. The Border Patrol has evidence showing that transnational criminal organizations are exploiting the law to traffic children, using a child repeatedly to aid in the smuggling of adults into the U.S. Why is there a crisis involving family units and children? What changed? The law. In 2008, a Democrat Congress enacted the Unaccompanied Alien Child Protection Act, a law that offers perverse incentives leading to the very problems we see today. In 2008, there were 8,041 unaccompanied minors apprehended at the border. Last year, 50,036 apprehensions. While the nature of the immigrants detained has changed, Congress has not kept pace with these changes. The Border Patrol is now in need of diapers, formula, and meals, and medical care appropriate for children. You would think that Democrats could at least include more resources to care for young children at the border, but you would be wrong. This bill doesn't do that either. Homeland Security is also hampered by a 2014 court order limiting how long Immigration and Customs Enforcement can detain not only unaccompanied minors, but also children in, in traveling with parents, and in some cases, child traffickers. This means entire family units and criminals are released into the U.S. after 20 days of detention. DHS desperately needs Congress to address this critical issue. Does this bill fix this issue? No, it does not. We also know that there is abuse of our generous asylum laws. Aliens encountered at the border are being coached to claim fear, guaranteeing they will be released into the U.S. Does this bill do anything to reduce frivolous asylum claims? No. Does it require asylum seekers to apply at a legal port of entry? No. Does it hold people accountable for filing or assisting in filing fraudulent claims? No. Does it impose any kind of asylum quota? No. This bill fails to advance, advance even basic asylum fixes. Make no mistake about it, Ms. Madam Speaker. The policies passed by this House, even if they never become law, will send a message. If the House passes this bill, Democrats will be sending a clear message to DACA recipients, those young adults brought here by their parents illegally, that Democrats are willing to hold these young adults hostage in the push for open borders. If the House passes this bill, we will incentivize illegal immigration. 
just as Congress did in 2008, and we will certainly get more of it. This is exactly what this bill will do. It is not compassionate. It is reckless. It is misguided. I yield back.